Knock, knock, who's there? Interrupting cow, interrupting cow, they never finish the joke, grade two. <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? Nobody, nobody who? Silence. Grade three, how do you make a fruit punch? You give it boxing lessons. <laughs> grade four, Miss Pedrosa, why are you wearing sunglasses in class? Oh, because you guys are so bright. She was never really that funny. I'm sorry. Uh, grade five. Oh, I'll get it. <laughs> grade five. Spell I cup. Grade six. Yo, mama is so stupid. You better believe I didn't let them get to their punchline. Grade seven. You pee. A horn toad. A horn toad says, rub it, rub it. <laughs> Oh, her mom will tell you. <laughs> Grade eight, that's what she said, but not to you, sweetheart. <laughs> Grade nine. Cool story, babe. Why don't you go make me a sandwich? You know, I would make you a sandwich, but I might put some rat poison in it. Actually, I'll get you that sandwich right away. <laughs> Grade 10, that old hag needs to get laid. That old hag is giving you the education you so desperately need. Grade 11, what if I know she wants it, but she's too young to even speak? These aren't jokes anymore, and they, they never were. Tell me, Mr. Track Star, Mr. Popularity. When did oppression, education, and rape become the butt of your joke? Tell me, Mr. Jesus Loreto, why do you, why do you think that an innocence robbed from a two-year-old is a punchline? Explain to me. Grade 12, I hope you have better jokes, because if you don't, I'd rather not laugh anymore.